Activate charge field in space. Oh! Okay, we just destroyed everything in the vicinity. What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Ark the Center. Last we left off, we tamed up a couple of you Tyrannus. I've done some off-camera work and I went ahead and built up a breeding pen for these guys. So let me up the gamma so we can see a little bit better. I also tamed an Oviraptor off-camera and he's just collecting any of the eggs that you Tyrannus has grabbed because we need them for the um, kibble. Exceptional Kibble, or sorry, Extraordinary Kibble. You don't really need the other tiers of Kibble. The Exceptional Kibble is the highest tier, and it will allow you to tame anything. So if we wanted to, we could go out and tame some of the higher level creatures. But yeah, it's supposed to allow us to tame creatures at a fast rate. I also managed to get a bunch of Kibble. So here's all the Extraordinary Kibble. So, uh, and I've also got a bunch of cooked meat, so, uh, I also built a fridge, a vault, and a chemistry bench, and in today's video, here's what I'm thinking we do in today's video. We're gonna tame that Nothosaurus thing. Now, I did look up on it, and luckily one of the YouTubers that I watched, the Axeman, he uploaded a video on how to do it. It's a pretty weird way of taming. What you gotta do is... Use power generators. You need to hook up some power generators, surround it, turn those power generators on, and then the Nothosaurus will proceed to destroy them. Do this enough times, and it will be tamed. Seems pretty simple. Probably won't be, but it does seem pretty simple. So, over there, we've got a 130 female. I have checked. They are the opposite gender. Over there, we've got a 130 female. And over there, we've got a 135 male. So we're going to see if we could tame the, those up. So what I've done, I've crafted up 40 generators. Hopefully, we're going to take 20. Hopefully, that's enough. If not, then we'll always get more. And we've also got plenty of gasoline as well. We're only going to put like two things of gasoline in each. So we're going to see what happens here. So we're going to take... Oh, and this is a, one of our new pyromanes. I got this guy named Mufasa. Yeah, he was like the one with the perfect stats and whatever. I've been breeding up pyromanes to try and get some perfect stats. I think the male is fine. We just need a female. And then we can go ahead and get some mutated ones. So, hopefully, we'll be able to do whatever. So I'm going to see if we can find this 135 male first. Alright, the 135 male should be somewhere around here. I hope I brought enough. I hope 20 is enough. I hope. The compies, I'm going to need to do. There's a max level compy. Alright, let me see if I've got the Nothosaurus mod activated, because that is a real mod. Yeah, I do, and it's only level 48. Pretty easy to tame. Alright, we got those little salamander things. Right, I'm trying to look for that 135. What level is this guy? 45, alright. Iguanodon. I'm still on the lookout for an Iguanodon, a relatively high level. I know there was like a 135 male around here and a 130 female somewhere down there. Also, at some point, I do want to tame up another gecko so we can get some black pearls. Because we're going to need those for the railgun, which is used to tame up the Vectospinus, I do believe. Alright, I don't think we're going to find the... The level, um... The 135. We'll see if the 135... We'll try to come back for it if we can find it. But let's see if we can find the 130. Pegos, I'm gonna need you to not be around me. Wait, are you it? Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is uh, 
Alright, I did see a Pago somewhere, so I'm gonna see if I can kill the, get rid of this Pago. There we go. We got rid of the Pego. So where is... There you are. Not the source. Oh my god. Pegos piss off. Alright, I think we're good. I think we are good. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Switch you over to the shoulder. Put you on passive, just in case. Now the Nothosaurus should be chill, and it's going back in the water. Uh, sir... I'm going to need you to, uh, be on land for this. That's it. There we go. No, no. No, no. Come this way. I've got a delicious power generator for you. Now, there is a limit of how many power generators you can have at one time. We're gonna... Oh, he's attracted to it. Oh. Oh, Ichthyornis, piss off. All right, there we go. He's taming up. Oh, Pro Protoceratops, get out the way. All right, missed. All right, there you go. That's right, you dumb seagull. Piss off. Look at him. Already halfway tamed, it looks like. While you do that, I'm just going to go ahead and... Kill the sick Theornis. There we go. Okay. Wait, does that mean he's almost tamed? Does that round thing mean he's almost tamed or he's almost charged up? We'll have to see what happens here. Alright, he just destroyed one. We'll have to see what happens here. She just destroyed one. And... There we have it. Nothosaurus has been tamed. We just tamed our first Nothosaurus. That was pretty easy. Now this guy has been recently damaged, which means we can't pick it up. That that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So let's uh, go ahead and, I guess, demolish this one. And then pick this one up. Alright. That only took, like, basically one. Oh, no, hold on. So now what we're going to do is see if we can find either the 135 male or a high-level male similar to it. We'll probably drop the female off real quick, and then we'll see what goes on from here. So let's drop off the female. What's your stats? 41 points into health and 41 points into melee. That's really good. The weight isn't really that great, though, I must say. <laughs> So this is our Nothosaurus. Relatively easy to tame. I wouldn't have made 40 if I had known that this would be relatively easy. So yeah, that's our first Nothosaurus out of the way. Let me go ahead and give you some meat so you don't starve to death. And now, what we're gonna do... To make it a little bit easier, we're gonna fly over and see if we can find the next one. I'm gonna save the game just in case it decides to crash. We're going to see if we could find that 135 male, and if not, we'll see if we could find a, a male similar to it. Oh, hello. Um, level you? 95? You know what? That's, that's good enough. Um, do we have any prime? We do. Awesome. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Gecko. Do you want to be my friend? There we go. Alright, I got him. I got him. Cool. All right, we got the Gecko, which is good. It's only a 95, which isn't really the greatest, but it's something anyway. All right, so I've been searching for the last 15, 20 minutes, and I haven't found a single... Well, I have found a bunch of them, but they've all been, you know, either females or garbage levels. Garbage level... Either high-level females or garbage level males. But we're still trying to find... If we could find that 135 male, that'd be great. If not, then it's whatever. I'll see if I could find another... Not the sores are pretty easy to tame, it looks like. So I shouldn't be too fussed over it, or whatever. 
All right, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing that uh, 135 Nothosaurus. Otherwise, we would have tamed it by now. Oh wait, is that it right there? It's in the water. That's why I couldn't see it. Okay, I kind of don't want you to be in the water. I want to lure you over here so I can place some electric generators down. We found the 135. It's just... Uh, maybe we put one in the water? It might be lured over. Oh, I can't turn it on. It probably has to be on land. All right, well, it was worth a shot. I will put that there. There we go. All right. Now, there's the other problem. We need to get this guy out of the water. And lure him over here. That's what we need to do. So where are you, good sir? Wait, I think it detects... I think it detects the power generators. Yeah, there we go. It's going for the generators. It is going for the generators. All right, there we go. Now we just wait for him to do his thing. And then we'll have a mating pair, a breeding pair, and then we'll get an imprinted version. That's the plan. One more bite, and I'm getting this ready. And the male has been tamed. Honestly, these guys are very easy to tame. Relatively easy. All right, this one has been damaged, so we're going to have to demolish that one. And then this one we could just pick up. All right. So, yeah, we got the male, and then we'll put them on breeding. I'm pretty sure they lay eggs. Do they have to be in... Wait, do they have to be in the water? Because that's not a problem if they have to be in the water. I could just have them tame up or breed up in the water pen. That's a wild Megalodon just standing by my base. Okay, whatever. All right, and we're back. So if we compare stats, let's put you in here. So this is the female, the 130 female. It came out at a 195, 41 points into health, 35 points into stamina, and 41 points into melee, and 32 points into weight. Seems not bad. The male, on the other hand, came out at 135, 38 points into health, 33 points into melee, no, sorry, stamina, 36 points into melee, and 51 points into weight. What is with creatures in very high weight? <laughs> if only that was like health or melee. All right, so it's no competition. The, the female is clearly better. All right. So let's see if they can breed in here. Because that's where our Oviraptor is. If not, then we'll put them in the water. These guys are pretty big. Yeah, these guys are pretty big. And pretty long, too. Damn. Alright, we can fit them. Good. Behavior, enable mating. Behavior, enable mating. Oh, no, they're mating. They're mating. There we go. I'm gonna let them do their thing. And then while we wait... While we wait, we're going to take the Ichthyosaur out. Oh, and by the way, good job, Mufasa. All right, you can just stay right there. Meanwhile, we're just going to go get the Gecko. And we're going to take the Megalodon out, and we're going to see if we can find an alpha creature. Like, maybe a squid or something like that. All right, we've got the Gecko. We're ready to go. Hold on. Before we go, though... Let me put some stuff in the vault, because we so we don't get too heavy. All right, we've got water. That should be good. The potatoes we can put in the fridge. Oh, that reminds me. That reminds me. I also did something else off camera. I also built up a greenhouse. So we got the Fiomia kind of just chilling here for poop. The dung beetle as fertilizer and whatever. Let's check on our crops. We got... Okay. Yeah, we're almost out. We're almost out of poop. I'm glad I checked. This one is completely out of poop. Alright, now for real this time. Let's go out 
and get some black pearls. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save just in case the game crashes. And then we're gonna take our trusty Megalodon. Avoid jellyfish while we're there. Go get some food. So now, when it comes to black pearls, I'm pretty sure... I don't think Alpha Megalodons drop it, but I know Alpha Mosasaurs do. And so do um, Eurypterids and Tusatuthis. But Alphas are pretty much... Ooh, what level is this? That's a 135 male Basilosaur. What is our... What gender is our Basilosaur? You are a male. Okay. It's a female that we need. I'm trying to find an Alpha Mosasaur. So we can go ahead and get some Black Pearls. I think you get 100 per Alpha. So that should be more than enough. I think for the... We need those for the rail gun. What do we need for the rail gun? We need... Oh, we only need 25. Simple as that. With the Alpha, we could craft up four of those if we wanted to. Oh, oh that was a squid. That was a squid. All right, Mr. Squid. If you could kindly show your face here. Okay, everything's attacking me for whatever reason. Why are Dunkle Osteus after me? Where's the squid? Well, this just... Oh! Where did all these Dunklies come from? These aren't even sharks. These are Dunklies. Alright, come on. I don't know where that squid went. I'm pretty sure they dropped black pearls. Alright, can you please die? Thank you. Alright, oh, we should have gotten a bunch of levels for that. Yeah, 41. How does it heal after us now? Alright, can you please die? Thank you. Ow! Oh, there's the squid. There's the squid! It grabbed us. And we've got 20 black pearls. We got 20 black pearls from that. We want so much fish. I can't see anything. Let's go into meat. And just, uh... Yeah, maybe keep like a couple of stacks and drop all of it. Alright, we need 25 in total for the rail gun. So either one more squid. Or, I didn't even see what level that squid was. Either one more squid... Or one more Orlin Alpha of some kind. Like an Alpha Moza or an Alpha Squid or whatever. We got eight levels from that squid. Let's get you to 80,000 and then put the rest in the melee. Let's go. I think 80,000. You're, you're good chilling at 80,000. Alright, we've got the gecko still on us. There's just a redwood tree in the middle of the ocean for whatever reason. Ammonite. I don't know if you drop biotoxin. I'm not biotoxin. Um, black pearls. Well, now I know for sure everything will attack me. There's a Dunkelosteus attacking us. That was a 15. Alright, we're a lot stronger now. I'm just trying to get as many of these as possible. We did get another black pearl. We got 21 black pearls. I think we got 22 black pearls. We got one at the surface. So we'll have to see what goes on here. And then I think we could end the episode off by taking the Nothosaurus out for a spin. That's another Dunkelosteus. They're everywhere around here. Oh, damn. Yeah, they are everywhere. Now I kind of understand why they're after me, because I've got that Ammonite scent thing that causes everything to turn against you. 
Oh, hello, Alpha Mosasaur, level, what was that? 45, 118,000 health. I'm not gonna be able to hit you if you keep circling. 215 damage per bite, that's no joke. The bleed should help out, definitely. I will tame a Moza at some point. Just not right now. Okay, can you stop moving? Alright, stop circling around. There we go. I'm surprised we're not slack capped from that. Alright, let me go get the black pearls. Boom. That's literally all we came here for. We'll get that. Oh, we got some cool loot, though. I'll take the loot. I'll take those. That's all I'm taking. The rest we can drop. Oh, we got some cool loot from killing that guy. We got 177. We got a better pick. We finally got a better pike as well. That's good anyway. And 144. Not as good of a crossbow. All right. All right, I'll see you guys back at base, and we will, um, like, check out our Nothosaurus finally. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. And home is just around the corner, it looks like. That was fun. A fun little episode. Easy taming, as well as getting some black pearls, getting some stuff done. So hopefully next episode we can go after a Vecta Spinus. Or something. I did not want to get off. I wanted to open the gate. All right, so we basically... Yeah, the female stats. I think it's 4141. That's what we need. If we could get that, that would be great. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we got one that lost the melee, and we got one that lost the health, it looks like. All right, we'll just... Uh, for now, um, we'll take one of them out for a spin. All right, you'll be ready to go in 34 seconds. Let me go make the saddle, and then we'll be good to go. All right. Last but not least. This will be our fully imprinted Nothosaurus. It only is, it's only a level 205. All right. Let's give this guy a spin. All right, so we've got cycle charged ability forward. Left control and right click. For charge cycle ability back, left control and left click. Activate charge ability, space bar. Control C is the roar. Alright, that sounds about right. The uh, control Z is to locate silica pearls. Oh, this guy is really good at gathering silica pearls. And we're a pretty good swimmer, too. So. I don't know if we're able to locate silica pearls or anything like that. Ah, uh, game, game, game. Thank you. All right, there's a megalodon. And we're pretty fast, too. We have 5,400 health, which isn't bad. We got melee, left click, and then tail whip is the right click. So we'll have to see what goes on here. So left click does 846. That's not bad at all. And then right click is the tail swipe. Ooh, we just vaporized those guys. I guess you have a cooldown. And then we get power just by killing things. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. We're powering up, it looks like. Activate charge ability space. Oh! Okay, we just destroyed everything in the vicinity. Okay, that's, that's really good. Now we can, it says we can try to find silica pearls. I don't know how we'd be able to do that, though. Oh, we're kind of flipping around. And I guess if you like... Oh, okay. We can kind of jump in and out of the water. That's cool. What? Oh, that's the whale thing. That's a baby version of the whale. 
And there's the adult. I don't know if we can take that. I really don't know if we can take that. If you don't know, that's one of the premium mods. Let me go on land so I can think about it for a second. I don't know if I could tame the baby or not. Alright, let's see if we could take this whale. Alright, which one's the adult? That big one. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we just killed it. Two shot at it. Alright, can we... Can we claim the baby? Can we claim the baby? Let's see. Oh, we can! Okay. We actually can claim the babies. Now, this guy is only a level 55. So, don't expect it to be too strong. We'll have to take that whale out for a spin at some point. Alright. So, this is the Nothosaurus. A really cool specimen. Let's jump, fly out of the water. Alright. So that's our Nothosaurus tamed up. A relatively cool creature. I'll try to see if I can get some with perfect stats and then breed them up and see if we can get some mutations. But apart from that, Nothosaurus is a pretty cool specimen. But with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.